there and welcome to my channel my name is Doug and I'm back with another fountain pen review this is the first of a series of head-to-head -head videos where I'll compare similar pens I received a bunch is that a gaggle flock murder I don't know I received a bunch of pen BBS pens all at once due to the backlog created by the pandemic so instead of repeating the same review over and over again with different colors I've done some pairing I don't drink wine so I don't know if this kind of thing constitutes a real pairing like a Malbec with a Mont Blanc perhaps a true pairing with pens is a pen with a color ink whatever I'm doing pairings of what I consider similar pens today I'm going to look at two of my favorite pens in one of my favorite color acrylics Galaxy this Moonman M800 and this pen BBS 308 both in galaxy so let's watch in fascination as these two galaxies collide right now when worlds collide i think all you scientists are crackpots So as I mentioned in the introduction, I received this pen as part of a shipment of a number of pens, but it was the first one out of the box. And you'll see that I immediately compared it to this Moonman M800 Galaxy, which oddly enough happens to have a pen BBS nib on it. Here's that unboxing video right now. And what will be the first thing out of the box? The first thing out of the box is a pen bbs 308 and this one i haven't got one of these yet now i do this one's in galaxy which has become one of my favorite finishes whether it's on pen bbs or on the moon man Our typical pen BBS cardboard box and ooh, and I'm getting another taco very nice and just uh, to let those of you know that are new to pen BBS boxes this has a little magnetic closure flap right there and it's not designed to go further than straight up and down so if you push it back you're going to break it okay go Ow, 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 ow. What, what do I do? Does this get fixed with ice or heat? Ice now, heat later. And here is the kimono. Isn't that pretty? Okay. All is right with the universe. Isn't that lovely? And with the gold trim on this, I think it now rivals that Moon Man in Galaxy. Look at that. Back in the taco. Okay, all you people can honk your horns now that are in the drive-in. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. In pen reviews, I will usually go over the parts and features of the pen, do size comparisons and measurements, and then do a writing sample. Since I've reviewed the Pen BBS 308 several times already, I will put links to those reviews in the description as well as to those videos I've done on the Moonman M800, of which there are also several. I will, however, show the measurements of these two pens right next to each other for comparison. I'd like to examine how these pens are similar and how they are different contrast and compare as your professor used to ask you on those maddening exam essay questions in university <laughs> to contrast and compare and then use that information to make an informed evaluation 
one needs to have analysis criteria established for that evaluation. So I will propose the evaluation criteria. Not that I'll put any of this to a vote, of course. But as always, feel free to add your comments about your likes and dislikes below. I do read them all and only toss a few now and then, dealing with the culprits who disparage my guitar fingernails or my intelligence by digitally shrouding the offending individuals. You see this? This is a shroud, Mr. Holland. A shroud. A burial cup for the dead. This is for you, Mr. Holland. So this is what I propose. I'm not going to contrast and compare the nibs or how these nibs write as these two nibs are functionally identical. But I will consider price, weight and ink capacity, the clip, shape, writing comfort posted and unposted, and the overall aesthetic of the two pens. Price is an easy empirical evaluation which has an underlying subjective component called value for money. The Pen BBS 308 can be purchased for as little as $13.99 for the basic finishes. But let's compare galaxies to galaxies here. This Pen BBS 308 Galaxy with gold trim was $31.99 as it is a premium finish. The Moonman M800 Galaxy can be purchased for as little as $24.58. I paid around $32 for this one. So the price is a wash. By the way, to find the pens for purchase, putting the pen's name into Google and searching and then clicking on shopping is a really easy way to find them. You can find a lot of interesting fountain pens, including those that I review here on my channel on Etsy. eBay. and Alibaba. For those more brand name pens like Mont Blanc, Visconti, Aurora, Bexley, Opus 88 and others of that sort, point your web browser to the following online pen outlets. In Europe and the UK, Applebaum, La Caron de Comte, Pen Heaven, and Cult Pens. In the USA, there's Goulet Pens, Jet Pens, Pen Chalet, and Gold Spot Pens. In Canada, there's Wonder Pens, Knight's Writing, Stylus, and Stilo. Google is a wonderful thing. The next comparison is weight. Regarding weight, both pens are very similar with the Pen BBS 308 coming in three grams lighter at 21 grams. Three grams isn't a lot. They're both cartridge converters and have the same ink capacity except for the fact that the 308 can actually be eyedroppered because it has this little ring on it right here and that barrel can take up to almost three milliliters of ink whereas the m800 has a metal part of the section and the barrel is in two pieces so it cannot be eyedroppered then there's the clips the two clips are very different in style and shape but function exactly the same the roller on the m800 might give it a slight advantage but i've not found them to be functionally different in shirt pockets pants or clipped to a book or in my pen sleeve the differences really are aesthetic. And now shape. Of course, one of the big differences between these two pens is shape. The M800 is a much thicker pen. Here's a graphic I've made that shows the thickness differences of the two pens in the caps and barrels, and most importantly, the sections. This is where the two pens diverge. They are, of course, two different pen types in terms of shape, as different as the Parker Duofold is from the Schaefer Balance. The M800 is a large flat top style pen even though it has conical top and bottom finials. The Pen BBS 308 is your classic cigar shaped pen. 
Some people prefer the former, some people prefer the latter. I prefer both. Yes, yes, I remember I had lasagna. The different shapes give you a different writing experience, which is how they feel in the hand, our next criteria. How does the pen feel in the hand, both posted and unposted? The M800 is the larger pen by girth of the two. Unposted, it is a perfect length and feels incredible in my hand. I have average size hands. Those with smaller hands might find the girth of the barrel and the section a little large, but this is not an oversized pen. This section is also fairly unusual for a fountain pen. I've been calling it a milk bottle shape, which I think dates me a little bit. I was concerned I wouldn't like this section until I wrote with it. It is marvelous. It might seem a little short, but the fact that it continues over these very smooth threads gives you a full 27.5 millimeters of real estate to write with. Although smaller in girth, the 308 section has the same ability to expand over the very smooth threads and becomes plenty long enough at a full 25 millimeters. Posted, both pens do not throw off the pen's balance at all or make the pen too long to be unwieldy. I write with both pens for long periods of time, both posted and unposted without fatigue. And that just leaves us with the overall aesthetic of these pens. It is a very subjective thing. It seems older people like myself prefer gold, whereas the younger generation have gravitated towards silver and rhodium as the hardware of choice. I like the warmth that the gold gives. I think the galaxy blue with gold accents is really a stunning combination. I think the extra gold bands at the cap band and balancing the top and bottom finials on the M800, not to mention the extra gold band separating the section from the barrel, makes the M800 a little bit classier looking in comparison to the 308. But the 308 has a simple elegance all of its own. Here you can see the extra gold accents on the M800 as compared to a fairly plain looking 308 when they're unposted. So how do I choose between these two pens? Well, let's look at the measurement comparisons first, and I'll be back to write with them both and make that determination. So let's write a quote with each one of these pens. This is the and BBS 308 Galaxy and it has a fine steel nib and our quote This is the Moon Man M800 Galaxy, and it has a fine steel pen BBS nib. And for a quote, so there are two quotes, how to choose between these two pens. There was one metric I didn't mention because it is totally and completely subjective. And that is, which of these two pens do I choose more often? And the answer is an easy one, the Moon Man M800. I learned from my mother, who was a teacher and a psychologist, 
that people have varying degrees of fine motor skills. And typically, girls develop fine motor skills, like those used in writing and printing, earlier than boys. Giving someone with less developed fine motor skills a fatter pencil or a crayon allows them to be able to write or print a little easier. That might explain this kind of pen and why I prefer thicker pens to thinner ones. And there you have it. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell to get instant notifications whenever a new video is posted. And that just leaves it for me to say... Thank you for watching. And thank you for watching. And that's all she wrote.